Thane Bosch with Kitsap Physical Therapy and Sports Clinics here with your KPT Quick Tip. Today we're going to talk about uh, injury prevention in our overhead athletes, baseball, softball, volleyball players, anybody that performs sport in that overhead position. Uh, we find a lot of times in the clinic that these athletes come in with imbalance in their shoulders front to back. They spend so much time creating velocity and power in the overhead position that they don't think about how do they stop the arm. And, and the imbalance in the back of the muscles of the shoulder and the rotator cuff become weak and then it leads to impingement and pain and problems in the shoulder and oh, time away from the field. So we're going to go through seven exercises that we can do either before we participate or even in the off season to help create better balance in the shoulder and hopefully prevent less time away from the field uh, for these athletes and, and reduce risk of injury. Okay, so we're back. And I've got my friend here, Matthew, here who's going to demonstrate some exercises with us. Uh, when we talk about band, we use a setup like this with uh, metal hooks in the wall to hook our bands to in the clinic. Uh, at home, there's much cheaper versions you can get at your local sporting goods store. Um, of course, these that we use, we actually buy these on Amazon, and they're relatively inexpensive for a set. Or if you want to go um, a little bit more expensive for on-field use, there's bands as these that have uh, quick carabiners on the bottom of them that are really good to hook to the fence or you can utilize different things in the gym to hook them to but they're all effective methods to do the exercise. So seven exercises like we talked about we're all going to start with the shoulder blade as our key point. So the first one here with a little bit heavier band is a high row starting with the elbows at shoulder height squeezing back and release. Squeezing and releasing that shoulder blade every repetition. Okay. Second exercise, we just take a little bit of a variation off that and open the arms up. Just a, a true fly coming straight out. Again, releasing and squeezing the shoulder blade every time. And then coming back to your heavier band, palms down, elbow straight, squeeze, and release. And these are all from the high position up between eye to shoulder level as far as your attachment point. The next four exercises come from the low position. Again with a light band here to start. Going starting in the high row and then coming up to a 90-90 position and release. And back turn and face away from me. Now we'll come into what we call our scaption. And now he'll actually lift straight forward. Again, he's not perfectly straight. He's a little bit out to the side, about a 45 degree angle or so, stopping at shoulder height. We'll stay in the same position, switch to a heavier band for our push-up type plus. Come into a press position, press above eye angle making sure that he squeezes and pushes the shoulder blade away at that end point, simulating that release point or that just beyond contact point for our overhead athletes. And then the last, go back to your lighter band, face them again. Turn around and face them. Face the band. And we'll go into our overhead Y or victory position. And so that's your seven exercise setup for warm up or pre participation, if you will, um, or an off season program. When you do them before a game or a practice, usually we just do them in the straight sequence of seven um, for eight repetitions of each exercise and move on and go into your dynamic warm up. Um, in the off season, you can do the same setup, just do a couple sets of 10 to 15 with a little bit heavier load to prepare those muscles for the upcoming season. Again, Thane Bosch with Kitsap Physical Therapy and Sports Clinics, here with your KPT Quick Tip.